first of all, uh, to explain you uh, how um, this is going now, uh, we have a lot of variety um, with the NH1 treatments, as, and just to show uh, how heterogeneous this can be, uh, we have a slide uh, that Dr. Carlos Fernandez Martos has, has brought, uh, and he will explain us a little bit um, how different are the guidelines regarding this NH1 approach. Okay, uh, in, in this slide, um, we, can, uh, we can see that the um, new advanced treatment of uh, stage 2-3, the uh, rectal cancer is uh, different uh, in, depending on which side of the Atlantic you live. Um, as we can see here in the, 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 the NCCM guidelines from the uh, USA, uh, uh, every patient, every patient with the stage 2 and 3 uh, rectal cancer, uh, not depending on which uh, third is, is treated with uh, chemo radiation. Um, short course radiation uh, is not um, um, is, is uh, not available in this guideline, and initial surgery is um, uh, for T1, T2 patients. Um, this guideline also recommends to treat uh, with chemo radiation those patients with any positive uh, disease after surgery in early stages. Uh, the uh, other three guidelines are uh, European guidelines, and as uh, we can see in the slide, uh, the ESMO guidelines uh, recommend preoperative chemo radiation for every T3 uh, patient and for T4, but uh, uh, also re uh, recommend short course radiation for these patients who have a clinically staged T3 with the mesorectal fascia free. Uh, in this guideline, also initial surgery is recommended for uh, clinical stages T2 and T1, and also for those patients who have uh, early T3 disease. Um, the other two uh, European guidelines um, also recommend uh, initial surgery for, no, uh, sorry, a nice uh, British uh, guideline recommend initial surgery for a early T3 disease, and um, the Netherlands um, guideline recommends initial surgery just for T1 patients. Um, Preoperative chemo radiation in the British and Netherlands uh, uh, varies uh, a little bit, um, but um, uh, it, it, the one important thing that we must uh, highlight is that the Netherlands guideline recommends short push radiation in those patients with T2 disease or early T3 uh, disease. Okay, uh, I think that we, the most important uh, in this slide for me is to, to see that different strategies are uh, recommended in different countries 